Hello Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We do have release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy, and then we also have very soon that follows. Let's see what's going on. We're going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay, just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. For some of you, you could very well be connecting with a Gemini specifically, because I'm getting somebody who's very impulsive. That's the word that I was looking for, very impulsive. They're kind of like a Knight of Swords-like energy right now. Uh, how does Pisces currently view this relationship? Come here. We have the Two of Swords. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. And then we also have the World. Let's look at this person. How does this person currently view this relationship? We got the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Five of Pentacles. And then we also have the Ace of Cups. All right, let's focus on you first, Pisces, and then we'll jump over to them. With the Two of Swords being out here, in the Santa Muerte deck, the Two of Swords is actually like a pair of scissors. I do kind of feel like you're severing ties here with someone, and whoever this person is, this is somebody that you've been very, very focused on. This is also somebody that you have been building towards a relationship with, especially to reach the Eight of Pentacles stage. You've been investing a lot of time and energy into this, but it kind of looks like you're kind of choosing not to do that anymore for whatever reason. And everybody's reason is going to be different, right? Uh, but this is you severing ties with this person, um, choosing not to focus on this person or put time and energy towards this person in the relationship that you share with this person. So with that being said, with the world being out here, there is definitely a cycle that's closing out here between you and this person. And from the looks of it, it kind of looks like you're the one that's initiating all of this. When it comes down to how this person is currently viewing this relationship with you, with the Four of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles, we'll get to this in a minute. Four of Pentacles is that gripping energy, okay? This person might even have a lot of Capricorn within their chart, but this is somebody who's kind of gripping onto you and the relationship that they share with you for dear life. If it's one thing that I will say is this, I do feel like whoever this person is, this is somebody who's very, very emotionally invested. Now... How do I say this? Like I said, I feel like this 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 ending that's occurring here between you and them is only happening because you're initiating it. For whatever reason you are. And I kind of want to see why that is. Because with the Four of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles, that's that overall energy of please don't go. Please don't leave me. Like it has that feel to it. Let's look at the... Um, hmm, let's look at the Four... Not the Four of Pentacles. Let's look at the Two of Swords. I am more about the Two of Swords. Was that the devil? Sure was. You know what's interesting? And I haven't said this in a while. But you're kind of looking at this relationship like this relationship isn't healthy for you. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you're dealing with a narcissist or you're dealing with a bad person. It just basically means that this relationship is not healthy for you and because you feel like this relationship isn't healthy for you you're severing ties with it more of the story i don't feel like you guys are dealing with a bad person by any means i'm not getting that off of this person whatsoever but this is you just kind of acknowledging the fact that this person in this relationship is just simply not that healthy for you so you're choosing to kind of sever ties right with this person because of the simple fact that it's not healthy for you and sometimes that happens right but that doesn't make this person a bad person nor do i feel like you're dealing with a bad person i don't but there's clearly something about this relationship that's affecting you there's clearly something about this relationship that's causing you to essentially think and feel like this relationship is not healthy for you and that's why you're severing ties with this person so then there's that pisces let's keep going how does um pisces feel <laughs> 
We have the King of Cups. We got the Nine of Pentacles. And then we also have the Hierophant. At the bottom of the deck, we do have Jesus. The Knight of Swords with the Nine of Cups. And then we have the uh, Ten of Swords. With the Eight to the Four, the Eight of Swords is, is usually attached to the Devil, right? Um, you're starting to come to terms with the fact that this relationship is affecting you, all right? And because it's affecting you, it's causing you to not want to be a part of this relationship anymore between you and this person. It's causing you to basically want to set yourself free, more of the story, right? But your situation is very complicated, Pisces, because I was kind of already getting that in the very beginning um, when I saw the devil. Um, and that's why I kind of mentioned that, because when the devil comes out, people think, oh, like, maybe you know like like you're they're dealing with a narcissist or something no like sometimes the devil just basically represents toxicity like this relationship might be toxic for you but it doesn't mean that your person is toxic right like perfect example with the eight of swords to the ten of swords like this relationship might make you overthink a lot it might make you extremely anxious it might make you worry a lot like it could just be that simple and that in itself is toxic right but the reason why I say that your situation is extremely complicated from the looks of it is because you have a King of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles to the Hierophant. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is the person that you currently find yourself connecting with. Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's very, very independent. It's somebody who doesn't need you at all. I mean, if anything, they want you, but they don't need you. And that's always a good thing, right? To be with somebody who wants you and not need you, right? And with the King of Cups, this is somebody who's emotionally mature. This is not going to be that type of individual that's going to leave you wondering, you know, how they feel about you. And with the Hierophant being out here, this is somebody who's very big on commitment. That's that Taurus energy right there. I mean, somebody who's very big on commitment, somebody who's very, very big on loyalty. I think that you know that um, meeting somebody like that, again, is probably going to be very, very, very hard to find. Um, but you're doing it, which I'm kind of shocked. You are doing it. As far as doing it, meaning ending it and freeing yourself from this person. But what's interesting is that we have the Nine of Cups, and that speaks of wish fulfillment. I kind of feel like this is essentially a wish come true for you as far as, like, this person entering your life and all that wonderful stuff. But like I said, either which way you want to slice it, you're bringing the situation to an end here. Yeah, pretty much. And you're not thinking about it twice. You're not thinking about it twice. How does this person currently feel? <clears throat> we have the Seven of Pentacles. We also have the Six of Wands. And then we have the Two of Swords. And then we have the Devil with the four of swords and then we have temperance i don't think i've ever yeah no 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 i don't think i've ever seen this combo in my life before um i'm not shocked i mean with the seven of pentacles to the six of wands you have to understand like you know this is somebody who's very invested pisces i mean this is somebody who has put a lot of time and energy into this relationship and so have you i mean you're at the eight of pentacles so that's kind of telling me that you've invested a lot of time and energy into this relationship a lot of time and energy has been spent right within this dynamic that the two of you share with one another and the fact that you're just cutting them off just look at the two of swords as like the like the, the pair of scissors you know because that's exactly what it is that's happening here you're, you're cutting this person off um let me grab the devil that fell hold on anyways like i said you're definitely cutting ties with this person you're severing ties with them and i'm gonna be honest the devil was at the bottom of the deck they're gonna be pissed like super pissed pisces like they're gonna be very very pissed off to the point where if this how do i say this if this all goes down in person this person might literally remove themselves because of how pissed off they're gonna be and they don't want to end up doing something that they're gonna later on regret like that type of pissed off okay that type of pissed off which is something that i do like it's a healthy choice that this person's making as far as like you know what I need to go because if not, I'm going to crack a whole coconut over your head. Like it has that feel to it. And I'm not saying that this person is physically abusive or anything like that. But you know, like sometimes when we get pissed off, we see red, we see red and some of us black out. You know what I mean? But the fact that this person's like, you know what? 
I need to leave because if not, I'm going to lose my damn shit. But yeah, you, you're severing ties with this person, Pisces. And it and this person does feel like they wasted their time. I'll be honest. They feel like they wasted their time. But I don't feel like you're doing all this to be malicious in any way, shape, or form. I mean, we got to take into account that the devil did come out on your end, which is kind of telling me that this relationship has been affecting you greatly to the point where you're starting to kind of find yourself suffering because of it. And then how is that fair for you, right? But I understand this person feels like they really did waste their time and they invest all this time and energy for this. Like, they're going to be pissed off. They're going to be super pissed off at you. But I like the fact that they're making a healthy choice by saying, you know what? Let me, let me, let me go. Let me, let me go. Because if not, like, they're just going to continue to get, like, extremely angry and upset. Let me grab the car that decided to fly out. Hold on. All right. We have the star that wanted to come out. What actions will Pisces take towards this person or moving forward? I'm kind of shocked. I'm kind of shocked, Pisces. I mean, did you get the Nine of Cups? You sure did get the Nine of Cups. And then we have the star. I mean, the Nine of Cups, like I said, it speaks of wish fulfillment, but it's like the major to the minor as far as wish fulfillment is concerned. You're running away from a wish come true. More of the story. You are. I think I told you guys this at some point. I think it was like a few months ago. Was it a few months ago? I think it was a few months ago that I told you guys this. Um... Whatever this devil, like, entails, whether that be you overthinking things or you allowing fear to get the best of you, because uh, I feel like for the vast majority of you, that could very well be the case. And I believe I had told you guys this, like, a few months ago that, you know, and it was kind of like a similar message, but you, you could walk away from this relationship if you want to. I mean, free will, do what you want, right? But you're always going to find yourself in this same position of when someone else enters your life because love is always going to show up i always say this love is always going to show up like you could toss this whole entire human you know to the trash if you want to but you're going to find yourself in the same position of like overthinking things and like allowing fear to really get the best of you and the only way to honestly overcome that is not to run away from it but to just kind of face it head on if that is the case um you kind of have to face whatever is causing you to essentially feel the way that you feel while being in this relationship with this person because if you don't it's just gonna like happen again where it's like you're gonna meet another person and you're gonna find yourself feeling the same way that you feel and the only way to kind of overcome that is to just kind of face it head on you know what i mean you know what i mean but anyways let's keep going what actions We have the King of Cups. We also have the Three of Pentacles. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. When it comes down to how this person plans on moving forward, th this person's not going anywhere. More of the story, Pisces. More of the story. They're not going anywhere. I wish I would have clarified the devil, man. Now that I think about it, but... I would have to go through this whole entire deck. But yeah, I kind of feel like that's... Let me look at the Seven of Swords. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. We got the Five of Cups. We got the Moon. And then we... You would regret it. You would definitely regret it. Like, if you see this through, is what I'm saying. Like, if you see this through and you cut ties with this person, right? Because... Fear and anxiety and you overthinking things are getting in the way, right? Of you fully enjoying this connection here between you and this person, you will regret it. That's kind of besides the point here. I mean, we have the Wheel of Fortune that speaks of destiny. And then we have the star. And that's kind of like basically following your true north. The path that the divine and God wants you to essentially be on. And you're choosing to like run away from it. And you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. You're gonna regret it. I mean, that's a double confirmation that if you see this through, you will regret it. Big time. I mean, with the Tower and the Nine of Wands, 
to the ten of swords to the five of cups to the moon that's not a nice energy to be in like because you might think that by severing ties with this person and moving on with your life is like the best option you're gonna find yourself in a hell of a lot worse of a situation if you do this now again going back to what i said it is free will you can do whatever it is that you want like this energy yeah does it suck absolutely will you move past it yeah you will you will move past it but this is also that double confirmation that you could toss this whole person you know to the trash if you want to you know what i mean but love is going to show up again and all of this stuff is going to show up again it's like you, you can't you can't run from it you can't avoid it it is what it is and you have the perfect opportunity to overcome all of that but it does kind of require you to like definitely like apply yourself you know and and focus more so on overcoming these obstacles that you're currently facing in order to like fully overcome what it is that you're currently experiencing whether that be fear and you know your insecurities and your worries and your doubts and your anxiety and the level of the unknown all of that stuff like all of that stuff does kind of require you to essentially face all of these things and deal with it and move past it you know what i mean there's this saying like you'll never you'll never be able to fully experience heaven if you if you haven't been through hell and this this is definitely a, a fucking roller coaster for you pisces and it's not an easy one for sure it's definitely not an easy one but it's something that you would have to face and it's something that you would have to overcome you know there's a lot of things that that play a massive role into why you feel or even think that this relationship is not healthy for you but if you could just face this head on you don't you won't necessarily regret it at the end of the day but like i said the decision is entirely up to you but this person's not going anywhere they're showing up as a king of cups to the three of pentacles to the ace of pentacles they're not going anywhere anyways we have trust we also have retreat and then we have hard to our conversations and then we have wedding and then we also have calling your soulmate oh well what do you know new love and then we also have this could be the one with calling your soulmate that's very similar to like the magician in tarot so you could be dealing with a virgo possibly even a gemini not necessarily but i feel like you kind of asked for all of this you manifested this person into fruition and now they're here and now you're running from it now you're running from it you just need to kind of trust the fact that you have a really good thing and granted are things from the past going to come up to the surface and cause you to panic and cause you to freak out yeah but everybody goes through that you know what I mean? You're not going to be in that energy forever is basically what I'm saying. This too shall pass. But you just have to trust the journey and trust the process, honestly. But for those of you who have every sort of intentions of seeing this through as far as self-sabotaging this is concerned, I mean, I do see that eventually, I mean, once you do it, you're going to really regret it, you know, but yes you're you're gonna overcome this you're not this is not gonna be your life for the rest of your life you know what i mean you're gonna overcome it but all of this is gonna pop up for you all over again pisces once you find yourself in a whole new situation with another person it's gonna come up but it's it's coming up so you can deal with it and move past it and heal from it you know what i mean so that's what i have for you pisces hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and i will see you guys in your next reading bye